home and when I got home I was starving because I hadn't eaten for like three hours which isn't a lot but my last meal was like nuts. So I get home and I go to eat a peach and next thing you know my lip swells up, my throat doesn't feel good, half of my face right now is like tingly so mama gives me Benadryl. I don't know what's going on. I have never been allergic to hardly anything and I don't know if this is an allergic reaction or what it is because I've eaten peaches forever and it's never been an issue. And when I was in Canada I ate a Subway sandwich and half of my face swelled up. I don't understand what's going on and it's really freaking me out. So throughout this video if I have a lisp please excuse it because I don't know if you can tell. I can definitely feel it but it's really hard to see in the mirror. But this side of my face is like big and puffy and it doesn't feel very good. And like it got really hard to breathe for a little while and then mom gave me Benadryl and so now I'm really tired but I feel a little bit better. Um, but I wanted to bring you a long awaited video on what is in my gym bag. And what's interesting about this is that I don't exactly belong to a gym. I have never had a gym membership. I've never really been to a gym. I recently got a 24 hour fitness guest pass for 10 days. And even though I didn't use it for all 10 days, I thought, you know, I might as well try it out since some of my friends went there. And this was about a month ago, and I used it for a while, and I'm not sure if I'm going to commit to that as a gym, or even commit to a gym. I don't even know how I feel about that. You know, if it's something I use, then maybe if it's going to keep me healthy, but I'm not really sure. So if you're part of a gym, tell me if you like it or not. But I did want to show you what is in my gym bag. Because I've noticed that even when I'm not going to a gym, if I'm going to a friend's gym, wherever I'm going, um, it comes in handy. And then even if I'm going running in the hills or hiking or anywhere, it kind of has all your exercise necessities. So I just want to show you what's in this. And I just keep it in a regular tote bag. You should use any bag that's accessible to you that you really like. This one is just big and it carries all my stuff. So I just wanted to show you what I do keep in my gym bag if I ever do sign up for a gym membership, if I do another trial membership, or just kind of what I use on a regular basis. So first off, you need to have some good running shoes. These are Nike, but I got them from Ross. So even though Nike can be like a really expensive brand, I just kind of go with whatever. Some people get really nice arch support shoes. But if we think back to like the way our feet were meant to work as cavemen, we're supposed to grip the ground. So I don't really pay a lot of attention to really high arch support, even though for some people it's necessary. For me, I don't find that it is. Um, and I try to, you know, keep my arches strong by exercising my arches and not giving them that cushion to sit on. Did you hear the sneeze? Because if you didn't, well, it was a sneeze. Um, the next thing that you have to bring is obviously socks and, of course, some exercise clothes. And mine are all discombobulated here. When it comes to fitness clothes, I do prefer, I do personally prefer to wear a sports bra and I usually just wear um, pants that go down to like my knees or sweatpants maybe and then just like a tank top or a t-shirt or something and it's kind of okay if it, um, you know, if the sports bra shows through the back because it kind of keeps you cool. This one is all discombobulated but that's what it looks like. Um, I also like to keep a pair of clothing other than my gym clothing because once you're done, you know, exercising or doing whatever it is, you're sticky, you don't feel good, maybe you want to go take a shower and get cleaned off, you don't want to get back in your gym clothes. So I just have a comfy sweater, a comfy shirt, and a comfy pair of sweatpants. You can obviously bring work clothes if you're going to the gym before work or at lunch or at school, um, but I just bring whatever and that's always a good idea to have. Now, when it comes to the gym that I was using a trial membership for, they did have a sauna, and I found that really, really helpful because it was a wet sauna, not just a dry sauna. So what I would actually do is bring my swimsuit, sometimes even wear it underneath my exercise clothes, and then once I was done um, getting sweaty, I would jump in the sauna to actually clean out my pores and completely kind of detox that out. And if you have a swimsuit on you, then there's no excuse not to. Um, you can literally, if you go into a wet sauna, you can literally be done in 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so that's what I bring and I love it. And then what's great is that you can take a shower with your swimsuit on so it kind of cleans it out. Um, of course if you're going to be exercising or sweating in a sauna or anywhere you need to stay hydrated. Um, these are water bottles that you can buy. I'm not a huge fan of them but I had one in here because it was what I was drinking. This is one that I like. It's your Camelback Eddy. This is just the one that I have and it is BPA free. I got it from Target. I wanted to say it's about $11. Um, and 11 is a pretty good number, but um, it snaps like this, you can hook it to a backpack or something, it will not spill, even if you try, and you have to like clench it down to get water out. 
So I really, really like this. I would recommend it. And it is BPA free, meaning that there is not a bunch of stuff in there that's going to be bad for you. Also, when it comes to gyms, you know that I have acne, so sweat naturally gets toxins out of your body. I don't want those sitting on my skin. When I'm in the shower in the gym, I do like to use a wash or a scrub or something like that. This is the Oil-Free Acne Stress Control, the Power Cream Wash with MycoClear Technology from Jujina. This is just one that I use. I always take one that's not very expensive because if it gets stolen or if I lose it, I don't want to have a problem. Uh, but at the same time, it does have salicylic acid, so that it does help fight my acne. So once I am done sweating and in the sauna, I jump into the shower, I put this on my face, and I kind of let it sit and penetrate because if you cleanse for 30 seconds, it's on and it's off. I kind of let it sit there for about a minute. And while I do that, I use um, shampoo and conditioner. And I love to use testers when I'm at a gym or if I'm at a hotel and I'm visiting. Testers are great to travel with, but they're easy to put in your bag and they're a great way to try out a new product. So if you have a favorite, you could put that in a little mini size and take it to the gym with you. Um, this is just one that I was trying. This is the straight set from Bumble and Bumble. It has shampoo and conditioner. It also has a blow dry lotion, but I haven't been using that. But what's nice is that it comes in a little water sealable bag. I got this quite a while ago, but because it's water sealable, it doesn't get ruined. Next, one of the biggest necessities is sandals. I, anytime that I'm in a public place, like where you're going to get wet, like a water world or a, you know, a water park or a gym, you always want to make sure that you have sandals. There is this nasty little Staphylococcus bacteria called um, MRSA, M-E-R-S-A, and it is very known to be prone to infecting places like gyms where there's a lot of sweat, there's a lot of bacteria, a lot of people are touching the same handles and sitting on the same benches. So definitely wear shoes. You also don't want athlete's foot. If someone has that in the shower and you step in the same shower, you could get that. So I always, always, always bring sandals to take a shower in so that you're safe from those bacterial things. And I'm not a germaphobe by any means, but MRSA is something that once it enters your body, it's very difficult to get rid of. Let me know if you want to talk Tuesday on it. So it's better to be safe than sorry because I've had some friends who have had it or who do have it. And it's not fun. Um, also, antibacterial hand lotion. This one's from Bath and Body Works. Want to make sure that you're protected from them germs. So that's always a good thing. This is the little um, fitness thing that I was using. It's just got like my expiration stuff, which it expired like a month ago. But it was like that trial membership thing. Um, you need a lock so that you can lock everything up. And I don't even remember what my code is. So that's not very successful. But oh, well, what you going to do? I got a random sock. You should always bring extra socks just in case. And I have a stick of gum because, or a pack of gum, because you want to take a stick when you're done breathing all nasty. Because sometimes if you don't have time to brush your teeth, your mouth just feels really gross and you want one of these. Now, um, now the last few beauty products, um, one of them is already used. This is an anti-wrinkle cream that's hydrating. That's just what I was using. I've also got in here a multi-active day cream, which is another tester. And I have a Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Serum. And I believe this is for the under eyes. No, this is for the face, but they also have one for under the eyes. And even though this is meant for wrinkles, I use it for my acne because it has retinoids or retin-A. What does it have? Where is it? It doesn't say on here, uh, but it has retinol SA. So that does help with acne because it helps break down the layers of the skin and so get some of that junk out of there. So those are the beauty products I was using. Um, I also have this um, Vivite Night Renewal Facial Cream. Sometimes I notice, even though a sauna makes you sweat and you're in the moistness, I notice that sometimes a sauna actually dries out my skin. So this is a really, really, really thick moisturizer that I use to really pump all that moisture back into my skin if the sauna really dried me out on that specific day. I also have this, which is a smoothie card. The 24-hour fitness that I signed up for momentarily had a buy seven smoothies and get your eighth free. I took a good look at those ingredients. They have corn syrup. They have just a whey and a bunch of fillers and like a scoop of protein powder and a little bit of fruit that was in a can and full of sugar. So this is the Energize Lifestyle Cafe. I got one of them and I looked at the ingredients and I said I'm never going to get this again. Because I like flipped through the book and I was like, well what do you have that's not full of stuff? And it was tasty, no lies, but if you have the option, please do not 
eat this stuff if you're trying to be healthy. Um, it's much better to mix your own protein drink or go home and make a smoothie um, or even just go to like a local smoothie bar and get something like that. So, hi! Are you excited to see me? He left. Well, thank you. I love you too, fatty boy. Um, last but not least, I don't have the um, headphones in here, but I normally do. Last but not least is a cell phone charger, your cell phone, and headphones. You obviously want to be able to listen to music while you're doing whatever, but what I actually like to do is watch YouTube videos because it's like a time for me to catch up, and I found that when I'm working out or doing something like that, like repetitive for an hour or so, whether it's at a hotel or whether it's at the little child gym membership, it makes a lot of sense just to be watching TV, and I prefer YouTube to TV, so that's what I do. Um, but I just, I it had, usually the hotels that I stay in have Wi-Fi, and usually the gym has Wi-Fi, so I just kind of plug it in and, you know, listen, and I'm chilling. Sometimes if your battery gets low, you do need a charge, so always make sure to have a charger just so that you're safe. And then they also have these little charging battery packs that's in my purse right now, um, because I was traveling, but you can literally, here's like your phone. Let's say that the shoe is your phone. It's like a little thing the size of your phone with a little thing like this on the end and you just plug it in and it gives you like an extra battery power, like an extra full 100% on the go. So that is what I bring in my gym bag. I would love to see what you bring in your gym bag. And like I said, even if you're like me and don't go to a gym, you can use these things on any other basis just for any healthy exercise activity you may be doing. So um, even for school, if you're going to PE, um, I don't know if you guys have showers at your school because I know that we didn't have showers at mine. But, um, oh, I guess we did, but it was like for the, for the athletes only. It wasn't for PE kids. It was like for the soccer team. But, um, let me know what's in your gym bag. I hope this helped you. And I hope that my lip didn't, I hope that my lip list didn't bother you. And I really hope that I'm not allergic to peaches because I like them. I want to eat them for a very long time. So I love you guys. I hope you're having a great day so far. And I cannot wait to talk to you all soon. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.